Hi everyone, I'm Super Dazza. And I'm Pearly. And welcome to another episode of Smite Community Concepts. New and improved. A lot. We'll get to the changes soon, but first, we're doing a giveaway to say thank you to all of you for your support of this series. And you can enter via the link in the description. Now for the changes. Firstly, we now have our own artist for concepts that are not submitted with art. His name is Jaraz, and you can check his stuff out in the description. We're also reducing the number of concepts each episode from 4 to 3, and you can read about the rest of the changes to the series in the description. We would love to hear your feedback about these changes, so express your opinions in the comments. The winner of last episode was Vex Ulrius, by our very own Jaraz. You can check out that video in the description, and vote for your favourite concept from this episode at the end of the video with the new voting system. Right, let's go on with the episode, shall we? This episode includes science, aliens, and apocalypses. Let's go. Apollo! So to celebrate the first episode with our new artist, let's go over one of his concepts. This skin has a post-apocalyptic theme, with a Borderlands Mad Max inspiration to it. Apollo would wear post-apocalyptic attire with a guitar and an eye patch. He would be holding guns which would shoot for his basic attacks and his voice accent would be gritty British. Apollo's first ability, so beautiful, would be a sawn off shotgun blast. For Serenade, Apollo's second ability, he would strum his guitar. For his third ability, the moves, Apollo would do a forward dive roll with firecrackers at the end of the ability. And for his ultimate, across the sky, Apollo's chariot would be replaced by something similar to Mad Max's car, and it would be decked out with rockets which would take it into the air. At the end of the ability, he would crash down in a barrage of missiles. Aphrodite would have bluish green skin like Galactic Invader Apwash, high tech dark blue armor, pink hair, and pink eyes. Her weapon would be a dark blue rod with a blue orb of electricity on top. Her basic attacks would be blue with electricity sparking in it, and her voice accent would be multiple nasally voices speaking at once, like a mix of Galactic Invader Apwash and Red Queen Circuit's voices. Her first ability, Kiss, would be blue lips. There would be an electrical shock for the stun on an enemy and the link to an ally would be blue and have an electrical effect to it. Back off, her second ability, would be a blue electrical explosion. For lovebirds, and for her third ability, her doves would be replaced by little UFOs with a blue electrical shock effect. And Aphrodite's ultimate, Undying Love, would summon a blue electrical force field around her and her soulmate. Scotty. Scotty would be wearing a scientist's outfit. Her hair would be tied up and she would be wearing glasses. Her main weapon would be some sort of gadget that she would press and turn into a spear whilst also carrying a rifle used for her first ability and a bag with flasks for her third ability. That purple slimy thing is her pet dog Calder in beast form. He would just be a slimy thing crawling on the floor for his elemental form. And her voice accent would be Russian. For piercing cold, Skaddy's first ability, she would take her rifle and shoot a luminous beam. For her second ability, Rune of the Hunt, the mark above the enemy would be purple and slimy. For Skaddy's third ability, Permafrost, she would throw a flask full of gooey substance, which would smash and spill over the floor. And for Winter's Grasp, Skaddy's ultimate, a slimy purple area of effect would be released on the floor. Enemies rooted by this ability would be stuck by the slime. Now it's time to pick your favourite. Turn annotations on and click the little eye in the top right corner of the screen. From there, you can pick your favourite concept out of all three. The winner will be announced next episode. And that's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. Please write your feedback of this new format in the comments section of this video. Everything is subject to change, but we are planning to keep this format as it is unless people don't like something about it. So have your say. 
Don't forget you can enter the gem giveaway via the link in the description and remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to not miss a single episode. Do you have a concept you want featured on the show? There's a link to the form for that in the description down below. And you can always follow us on Twitter for updates and pre-episode spoilers at nomnetworkyt. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks time. See ya. Thank you.